Ball is shot straight up from a building. Its height S in meters from the ground at any given time T is given by S of T equals 4D plus 35T minus 5T squared. Okay, so S is the height in meters and T is the time in seconds. Okay, question number one, find the height of the building. Okay, so this is for, the, for question number one. Find the height of the building. Okay, how do you find that? Okay, well, it says that S is the height of the ball from the ground at any time. So uh, when time is equal to zero, the ball is exactly at the top of the building. Okay, because it is where it is being shot straight up. So at T equals zero, the ball is at the top of the building and that corresponds to the height of the building so therefore we can solve this by saying okay let's let t equals zero because again our argument is that when t is zero the ball is at the top of the building okay so t equals zero then we're just gonna substitute that into our equation so that's s of zero let's use red for t so s of zero equals 40 plus 35 times zero okay minus five times zero squared okay and so that's just equal to 40 okay because this one will just cancel out they're both zero so therefore the height of the building is 40 okay 40 number two find the time when the ball hits the ground okay when does the ball hit the ground that's the question now another question is what's the height of the ball when it hits the ground the height is zero right so if that's the case then we can let s of t is equal to zero okay and then we can just plug that in to our equation so s of t is zero so that's zero equals 40 plus 35 t minus 5 t squared Okay, this is a quadratic equation and um, we can simplify this by dividing all by dividing both the left side and the right side by 5 so if we do that by 5 divide by 5 just to make the numbers smaller so that's 0 equals this is 8 plus uh, what's 35 divided by 5? It's 7t minus t squared. Okay, and then I will put everything to the left. So that's t squared minus 7t minus 8 equals 0. I just transferred all my stuff here to the to the left. Okay. And then we can factor this out. So this is t minus 8 times t plus 1 equals 0. And so therefore t is 8 or t is negative 1. But obviously we can't have t equals negative 1 because that's a negative time. And so therefore our t is 8. And that's the answer for number 2. 8. So, 8 seconds to be specific. So, the ball hit the ground after 8 seconds. Find the instantaneous velocity at any time. Okay, keep this in mind. When we say instantaneous velocity, that means that the, that means the derivative of 
the height or the position function okay so this is our height function this is our position function the instantaneous velocity is the derivative of that function okay so therefore we're just gonna find the derivative of um, s of t okay so the derivative of s of t is s prime of t okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and write the derivative of s of t so that will be 35 minus 10 t okay so I want you to pause the video and try to solve for the derivative of s of t I hope you will arrive at 35 minus 10 t okay so that's our derivative and that's our instantaneous velocity okay so it's just the derivative of the function that's given okay so remember that instantaneous velocity is the derivative of the position function because basically what this is is the height of the ball this is a position function it determines the position of the ball at any given time so the derivative of that is the instantaneous velocity now for number four this is connected to number three find the instantaneous velocity at t equals one and t equals two so now since we already figured out the instantaneous velocity at any given time we can just plug in these values for this equation okay so then that means s prime of 1 okay when t is equal to 1 is 35 minus 10 times 1 that's 25 okay so that's for t equals 1 and then for t equals 2 then s prime of 2 is 35 minus 10 times 2 that's 35 minus 20 and that's 15 so when t is equal to 2 the instantaneous velocity is 15 so that's 15 meters per second and that makes sense because when you throw a ball, for example, you you throw an object upward, it will start off as fast, and then as it goes to the top, it would start slowing down. Okay, so that's what happened here. So it started started off with around twenty five um, meters per second, but as the ball makes its its way to the top or to the highest point possible it it will start slowing down until it stops and then it will fall down okay so that's what happened here and so that's it for this video